Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Immuno Project. We're here at the Immuno Project. We're continuing in our series of videos with respect to education, uh, information, inspiration, guidance, advice, and I want to continue in our series of stories of the uh, uh, great uh, Hasidic uh, personalities of the past, the past, and I want to continue about the Rebbe Chaim of Kosovo. This is the son of uh, Menachem Mendel of uh, Kosovo, the Rebbe of Kosovo. And um, one evening, several of uh, Rebbe Chaim of Kosovo's Hasidim sat together in the Bez Medrash, the, the house of study, the library, and sitting on benches. And as often happens when Hasidim get together, they told one another stories, like, the, like I tell stories, about the righteous men, the, the, the tzaddikim, the, the gedolim, the great people um, in Hasidis, and the great people of the past. And above all, about the Balshemtov, uh, the founder of the Hasidic movement. And because both the telling and the listening was very sweet to them, um, they were at it until well after midnight, uh, telling stories about the Rebbe this and the Rebbe that. And then one of them told still another story about the Balshemtov. And um, when he'd uh, finished the story, another of the Hasidim uh, sighed from, you can tell it was from the bottom of his heart, just a, a heartfelt sigh. And he said, Alas, where could we find such a man? Today, where are we going to find somebody like the Baal Shem Tov today? At that moment, they hear footsteps coming down the stairs, wooden stairs, from uh, the Rebbe's room, the Tzaddik's room. They're sitting there, they open. And uh, there they're sitting, and there's the Rebbe, Rebbe Chaim is at the door, down from his office. He appears on the threshold, and he says softly, he goes, Fools! He, the Baal he is present in every generation. He, the Baal Shem Tov, only that in those days, he was manifest, he was physically present. While now, he's hidden. And with that, he closes the door, goes back up the stairs. The Hasidim sat together in silence as the words of the Holy Rebbe sunk in. When we tell and retell and retell stories of the Hasidic leaders, the stories of the holy Baal Shem Tov, we keep him alive and his thoughts, his philosophies, his, his uh, jewels, his gems of Hasidus, they're alive. Not physically alive. But they're alive with us. They're hidden. But we can bring these up again. We, these, these sparks of knowledge, these sparks of Hasidus, these sparks of Kedusha, we can keep them alive by telling and retelling. Don't think of him as something that happened, you know, in the late 1600s, early 1700s. He's alive today. He speaks to us today. And a good chunk of that is from retelling the stories, uh, as I do here. I hope you're enjoying them. Uh, I hope you find them uh, inspirational. Uh, I hope you find them uh, of use, of benefit. And until next time, on behalf of the Immuno Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you so much.